Sharks are one of the oldest groups of critters around. At least, oldest with like fins and eyes and mouths and teeth and scales. A lot of those sharks around with us today have huge special eyes. They are sometimes hard to see and getting that close is not on the bucket list of most people. So what do we even know about their eyes? Do great white sharks have round pupils or slit pupils? The Lamnidae shark family includes the white shark, Carcharodon carcarius, two mako shark species, the long fin mako, Isaris paucus, and the short fin mako, Isaris oxyrhynchus, and two mackerel species, the poor beagle shark, Lamna nasus, and the salmon shark, Lamna ditropis. Lamnid sharks live in tropical to cold temperate environments all over the globe and share similar morphological and anatomical characteristics. Sharks of the Lamnidae family are aggressive, effective predators with thuniform or tuna-like body forms and they have vascular, counter-current heat exchangers that allow them to keep the temperature of certain tissues raised above ambient water temperature. They depend significantly on their sensory system, especially eyesight, and have huge eyes with round, black, or dark-colored pupils. The iris of the white shark, Carcharodon carcarius, is often described as blue on several ecotourism and anatomical websites. These assertions are primarily based on images and films of these sharks since physiological and anatomical study is restricted and difficult owing to the shark's global protected status, the impossibility to get tissue, and the overall problems of safely examining an apex predator in the wild. A variety of pupil shapes exist across elasmobranch species, including round, slit-shaped in a horizontal, vertical, or oblique orientation, and numerous pinhole pupillary apertures. Each pupil shape has developed to give certain advantages. For example, a slit pupil has an advantage over a circular pupil in that it may close completely under extremely strong light. A downside of slit pupils is asymmetry in the transmission of spatial features to the retina which causes blurring of linear detail perpendicular to the slit. Depending on the spatial resolving ability of the retina and the quantity of additional aberrations in the eye, a shark with a vertical slit pupil will be able to discern detail in the vertical plane considerably better than in the horizontal plane. Horizontal slit pupils are more likely to trade sharpness in exchange for a wider range of vision for detecting vertically moving prey. There is a link between pupil shape and the environments or time of day in which the animal hunts in terrestrial species, with ambush predators, snakes, foxes, cats, having vertical slit pupils, and prey animals, goats, horses, and deer, having horizontal slit pupils. Identifying distinct retinal specializations, as well as lens form and pupil shape, might help to elucidate how a shark may perceive an image. Prior to its protected status, retinal mapping was only accomplished on one lambdin species, Carcharodon carcarius, which identified diurnal vision based on identification, counts, and measures of retinal neurons. A retinal ventrotemporally situated area centralis was also discovered. Overall, pupil shape is crucial in functional vision for various reasons. Visual behavior study has provided insights into a shark's visual world, which is easily observed and investigated in Carcharodon carcarius. Visual shape discrimination experiments, as well as predator-prey interactions between seals or seal decoys, have been carried out. According to one research, Carcharodon carcarius capture success rates reach 55% in low-light situations, but fall below 40% in high-light conditions. Great whites have been seen attacking with the sun at their backs, figuring out how to utilize it to their advantage while hunting prey. Many of these field studies have shown that great white sharks' visual system is highly developed, and they have learnt to adjust to predator avoidance, prey capture, and environmental changes. Pupil shape and iris color in lamnid sharks have not been formally documented. 
Defining pupil shape may offer additional information about convergent evolution and may play an important role in determining visual talents and behaviors. Hence the work of doctors Greg Skomal and Richard Dubilzig that was published in late 2021 in the journal Research Square, which sought to observe, measure, and understand the unusual pupils of the lamnids. Dr. Skomal collected six pairs of white shark eyeballs from sharks that had either washed ashore dead or perished after beaching themselves in the shallow sea near Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Eyes from a mako and a poor beagle shark acquired from fishermen in Rhode Island were also studied. The first pair of white shark eyes were found on a beached adult male white shark in Wellfleet, Massachusetts in 2015. The shark's head was stored in a freezer immediately after it died. The shark was thawed in early 2018, and both eyeballs were enucleated and put in 10% buffered formaldehyde. Four juvenile white shark eyeballs were collected from sharks washed up on the shores of New York in June of 2018. For the first six days, the sharks were fixed in an ethanol bath. The eyeballs were then enucleated and put in 10% buffered formaldehyde. Two white shark eyes were required in July of 2018 from a juvenile female in Scituate, Massachusetts, and two additional eyes were obtained in August 2018 from a juvenile male white shark in Truro, Massachusetts. The shark eyes were promptly enucleated and deposited in 10% buffered formaldehyde. Two eyes were collected from an adult poor beagle shark and an adult mako shark captured in a net by fishermen in Rhode Island in August 2018. Every eye was fixed in 10% buffered formaldehyde. Cataracts were readily seen on first examination of the first pair of eyes retrieved from the previously frozen adult white shark eyes, most likely produced by the freezing. The pupil was in a horizontal slit posture in both eyes, with iris adhesions due to freezing, and the iris color was significantly brown with a small blue tint in the limbus. These results were validated at Port City Veterinary Referral Hospital in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, using a Zeiss ophthalmic surgical microscope. Only one young female great white shark eyeball collected in Scituate, Massachusetts has bilaterally dilated pupils. Fishermen spotted this shark dead less than 24 hours after deploying the net. After magnification, all internet and personal pictures of white sharks revealed a narrow, elongated, horizontal slit pupil and dark brown iris with a blue ring around the limbus of the iris. There are no obvious cataracts, operculum, or iris adhesions in any of the photos. In conclusion, this study shows that light-adapted lamnid sharks, notably Carcharodon carcarius, Isurus oxyrhynchus, and Lamna nasus, have a horizontal slit pupil. The one female white shark with dilated pupils might have been trapped in a gill net during a fight-or-flight episode. There was no indication of pupil dilation in any of the images or videos analyzed. Because of the iris's powerful, smooth muscle, it is thought that either the incoming light from the sun at the ocean's surface or the camera and video lights are enough to drive the pupil to fast constrict. More research on pupillary dilation and constriction in these animals is needed. Because Carcharodon carcarius has a specific retinal area centralis, it needs more eye movement to detect food than other shark species with a dorsal or ventral streak. Carcharodon carcarius retinal variety might be connected to its environment and hunting techniques, or it could just be a part of how this species has evolved. Knowing that Carcharodon carcarius has a horizontal slit pupil and an area centralis, there is reason to suppose that they must undergo chromatic blurring dependent on how light strikes the axis of the pupil. Given that this shark family has a horizontal slit pupil, further research and testing might lead to a better understanding of particular behaviors and evolution within this species. The identification of the retinal specializations of Isurus oxyrhynchus, Lamna nasus, and Lamna ditropis might aid future investigations of convergent evolution. Because lamnid sharks depend so largely on vision for survival, knowing their full visual anatomy can assist creation of a clearer picture of migration, navigation, and habitat strategies, as well as how climate change may affect these behaviors. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, like this video, drop a comment in the comment section below, and hit the bell icon to stay in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching.
Special thanks to Elephant Tier patrons Abby Smith, Arda Bayer, Biotiverse, Cherry Shaw, Chris Frampton, Christoph Hubbinger, Dinosaur, Ed Peretz, Isaiah Garza, Jax the Hacks, Natty Cat, PA Brew News, Ray, Rudy Redgrave, Smiling Walrus, Staniforth Hopkins, Steve Bradshaw, Thea Svensson, and Extraterrestrial. As well as my top as tier Tyrannosaurus patrons Admin, Antron, Aphid Kirby, Cyber, Dana Manchester, Danny Van Heck, Henry Brennan, Ibero Spinus, Iron Bladesman, Joshua Mana, Panic, Radio 404, Robert Kessler, Ruben Zachariah, Swaffles is Weird, Teeny Dragator, and The Dogman. Man.